Is your child struggles in reading? Hi, Teacher Tita here. In today's video, I'll be sharing to you five signs or red flags to watch if your child is having a reading difficulty. Number one, or the first sign, breaking words apart into sounds. So if a child is given a word example, the word is bat. So instead of reading it directly like bat, the child will say the sound of the individual letter. So the child may, may say b at, b at. Or if the word is mat, so instead of directly reading the word mat, the child will say the individual sounds of the letter like m at, m so there's no fluency even reading with a single word number two skips words in a sentence so this one is very common sign in our high five reading program we actually do an assessment before we uh, conduct the first day of class so skipping words in a sentence is another very common sign we observe with the child so if example the word or the sentence is the cat on the mat so sometimes the child will skip the word on and the or whatever is the word there so the idea here is the child is not really reading the complete sentence so my mga words na nasi skip niya it's because hindi niya alam yung word so one way of um, avoiding it is hindi na lang niya babasahin so that's number two sign skipping words in a sentence number three guesses words when reading so this sign is very common with our students when we first assess them before we actually do the first day of class we do the assessment online we usually observe that kids actually guess words when reading like let's say the word is cap but they are reading car because the first letter is letter C and automatically they will um, understand that okay this word is car but the actual word is cap so therefore we caught them that the kid is not actually reading he or she is just guessing and uh, they are very different when you are guessing the word or when you are reading the word so that's number three guesses words when reading number four difficulty in spelling of course automatically when your child has reading difficulty or is not has not really grasped the skills in reading automatic na po yun na there will be a possibility na hindi rin siya marunong mag spelling okay because we spell we actually spell when we hear the word and then write the word so if we do not really grasp or if the child does not really grasp the skills in reading the basic skills in reading blending the letters then spelling will be a very difficult for him or her number five cannot read without pictures so let's say you give the book to your child yeah, the books in school and then you let your child read so let's say the word is dog and then there is a picture of a dog beside the word then there's dog there's car there's cat so any other words that are in there and then your child has perfectly read it that's what you thought because oh ang galing naman nakakabasa naman pala yung anak ko but only to find out the child is only reading that word because of the pictures my pictures beside the word so um, let's say you'll cover the pictures in the book you'll cover the pictures and then let the child read we'll see if kaya pa ba niyang basahin so that's another sign your child cannot read if your child can read even if you cover the pictures then that's okay but if the child cannot read when you cover the pictures then that's a very uh, that's a red flag that um there's a difficulty in reading and has to be uh, properly addressed reading is a very fundamental skill 
that all children must have in order to do well in school and in the future. So students who have reading difficulty can quickly fall behind their class or can quickly fall behind their lesson. So as parents, we do not want that to happen to our kids, right? So this is why it is very important that we have to watch for red flags that your child is struggling with reading so that we can address the problem properly and before it snowballs to a bigger problem so the earlier we can um, do the intervention if your child is having a reading difficulty the better so that we can address them properly before they go to grade two before they go to grade three because we all know if your child is having a reading difficulty then all the subjects will be affected as well because yung performance niya sa school parang hindi siya nagkakaroon ng confidence you know because yung, uh, yung skills in reading is um needs to be developed so in our high five reading program the good news is we address those problems number one we teach them the the proper sounding of letters number two we bl we teach them how to blend the sounds together so we don't use pictures that's the unique part of our program because we do not use pictures for the child to read so um, the guessing remember that I told you that one of the signs is the child is guessing the words so the guessing part will actually be omitted because we teach them how to read we teach them how to blend the sounds together for them to read the word and um, lastly uh, we actually also teach them spelling so in hindi lang po reading ang tinuturo namin but the spelling as well so after the series of you know session hindi lang ang reading skills ang madidevelop pati na rin ang spelling so if you want to pursue enrollment uh, we actually conduct an assessment at first so that you know customize po yung lessons according to what your child really needs so I do believe that every kid, every child is different. So customize po yung lessons niya. And then click the link below for, to join our online community for promos, discounts, and more tips in reading. And also there's a link below on um, you can enroll and actually ask more questions in our Facebook page. Thank you for watching.